This is laughs from George Wallace right now. I have heard. I talked to the uh, the publicity guy, and he says that George, you have been nothing but pure fire this morning. So that's good. Well, we're just having fun because pure fire. Speaking of fire, and you're in Billings, right? Yes. Is it cold or what? We, uh, you know what? For us, it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, for you from Vegas, yes, it's thirty degrees right now. But for us, it's that's like, cold. That's yeah. cold, dude. I was in Billings the other day. It was so cold. You know, the kids that walk around with the pants hanging off the butt. Yeah. Well, they had them up that day. It's cold up there. <laughs> that's how cold it is that the guys are pulling their pants up. Yeah. And listen, it's so cold. It was so cold up there. Baskin Robbins was selling soup. <laughs> Oh, man, there's a reason you're Mr. Vegas, George, I got to say. I'm so mad. I was in Vegas last year, and I didn't get to see your show. I was, like, bouncing around all over the place. I didn't get to see you, and that was one of the things that was on my list, and I'm very upset, and I'm sure well, you're the next upset. next time you come, you've got to stop into the Flamingo and say, we've got the best 10 p.m. show in Las Vegas, and you never know what's going to happen in our show. You could have missed Anthony Anderson. I mean, we just Aretha Franklin was in last week. Guess who was at my show last week? Who? Joel Osteen. You know the minister? Yeah. Now, that's a real comedian right there, man. When you get people like that coming to your show, you know, it's just a lot of fun. My show is Vegas like it used to be, and it's just like the most diverse crowd. Young people, old people, black people, white people, hip-hoppers and gangbangers. Everybody's up in here. That's cool, man. That's like, that's like church. You know, you're going to a good church when they got a good mix of, like, old people, young people, criminals, nice-dressed people. That's the same thing for a comedy show. You want a diverse crowd. Prostitutes, everything at church. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Why don't they let you know? You know, why don't they let the sinner sit down front? People go to church every Sunday. They got the same seat. They sit right, right down front. Put the people, the same people in the back. Let the holes and the prostitutes and the, and the pimps come down and sit on the front row. That should be Yeah, there should be row like labeled. Like front row, just say like hoes and pimps. Second row, like <laughs> fresh, fresh out of prison or same about people. to go in. Yeah. Great. I love it, my man. George, you have been doing, you're, you're in your 10th year at the Flamingo, and you do show. how many nights a week do you do shows? Five nights a week, Tuesday through Saturday. Came here for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. I'm into my, I'm into my ninth year. Can you believe that? That's crazy, man. I mean, that's it's, kind of, it's, it's wonderful. But I need to get back out into America. I need to get back out and sell. I went to Detroit not too long ago, sold out 6,000 seats. I'm going this year to Dallas. I'm going to other cities. But I need to get to where you guys are, and we can have nothing but fun. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I need believe. to get to buildings. I need to get up there. You do. I mean, this weekend we got Lisa Lampanelli, Tracy Morgan's coming in uh, You know, next month. We got some big acts coming up here. Well, everyone. that's good because you need to laugh because that's what's good about laughter. Laughter is healing. It's the greatest medicine in the world. We make you feel better than doctors make you feel. I can tell you that right now. That's true. I had AIDS once, and I went and saw a comedian and totally gone. See, that's yeah. Ooh, what doctor? What's the name of that doctor? Let me write his name down again. Yeah, I'll get that. That, that was actually, it was Carrot Top I went to see. I went that's to see good. Carrot, Carrot Top. Top. <laughs> oh, he's a good friend of mine. He's right here in Las Vegas right now. I know. I love Carrot, Carrot Top. Top. I hung out with him. Mine. That's a great show, man. He, that's the thing, man. He came to Billings, and uh, we hung out after his show, and I got to talk to him about you know how he feels about lots of comedians hating him, and he's like, you know what? When the comedians like uh, you know Jerry Seinfeld and uh, Jay Leno and people like that love what I do, he's like, I don't care what other people say. He's like, it's, it's Let me tell you something. You know what? And he put butts in the seats. That's what it's all about. That's, it. that's what I like about comedians. I don't care what you do or what kind of comedy you do. You have a market for it. You have your market out there. See, we don't know the formula for success, but we do know the formula for failure. And that's trying to please everybody. That's what I like about Carrot Tops. Some comedians say he has props. What difference does it matter? It makes people are laughing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I mean, great laughs, you know? Whether you got a puppet, whether you, who cares what it is? As long as people are coming to see the show, that's all that matters, man. That's exactly right. That's what I like about co- comedy. That's cool, all man. All different kinds of comedy for all different kinds of people. Because everybody's not going to like you no matter who you are. Exactly. Well, this Saturday, 7 p.m. on Centric, which is a, like a BET kind of offshoot the network. BET, that's right. We got the uh, the Comedy All-Stars. It's a two-hour special at shot on location, Planet Hollywood in Vegas, uh, mm-hmm. during the Soul Train Awards weekend. It's got nine of today's hottest up and coming and established comics, and then you get a big, huge Lifetime Achievement Award, which I'm sure is well-deserved. You've been doing your thing for a long time. 36 years, man. Seinfeld started together. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Yeah, you were the best man. You'll see Seinfeld on there. You'll see Leno, Chris Rock. I mean, Bill Bellamy, Sherry Shepard, it's a wonderful show, and it's just, you're going to enjoy it. So make sure you take time out and watch it Saturday night at 9 o'clock. That's going to be awesome. I mean, I think it's just such a cool, cool thing for people that, to be honored like that. Is it? Are you mad at Seinfeld every time you hang out with him, knowing that he goes to his you know mailbox every day and picks up like a $19 billion residual check from Seinfeld? This makes me sick. Sometimes I just, just haul off and slap him. 
He said, what if you spend most of your time hauling off? What do you do the other time? Because I'm always hauling off, he said, if I haul off and slap you. <laughs> but yes, I never even ask him how much money. Sometimes he tells me how much money he makes, especially on these corporates. Yeah. I just hang up the phone. I don't need to know that. Yeah, you're, you're just like, dude, I don't want to hear what you're doing. Seinfeld, shut up. Seriously. It's like, dude, yeah, I'm, I'm barely able to afford heading He's over to... my best friend, and I share everything he does, so that's, you can't beat that. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to save up enough cash to go to the buffet over at the Riviera, and he's busy yeah. like buying the Riviera just to rub it in your face. Well, you know what? I'm more successful than he, and, uh, and all of you. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It's how you enjoy your life while you're living. You understand that? I, I love it. One of our guys... Yeah, that brings comedy to Billings is begging me to ask you if you would actually come to Billings, and they said they'll look into booking you if you if you want to come here. Call George Wallace at the Flamingo. Ask for my office. We will come to Billings. Okay. It's done. There you go, Wayne. We Answered your too. question. Well, I don't care if it's thirty people there or thirty thousand. I do the same show. Whatever that show is that night, whatever's happening in the news, we have nothing but fun. That's one thing I guarantee you, you're going to feel much better than you do when you leave the doctor's office. We have a good time. That's awesome, man. It sounds like you're I'm running for Pope right now. I'm going to be the first black Pope, so vote for me. I need your vote. I know. That's what's so. I heard about the possibility of a black Pope, and I, they said he was from Ghana, and I'm like, ah, I'm not really no, down he's, with he's gonna, They said he's going to be from Vegas. That's what they're saying. <laughs> I get it. going to be from Vegas. I missed the end me. of the story, so it's really you. Like, I'm all behind a black. At first, I was like, black pope that's interesting i'm all for it just for the you know weirdness of it the difference but now i'm like if george wallace is pope man it's like i'm converting to catholicism that's awesome and all you can do all you have to do is kneel down one time that's all you got to do is kneel one time not gonna be getting up and down okay exactly george you know how bad that is on the joints you're like eliminate that get rid of it <laughs> one time on the other hand and I don't, you know everybody drinks out of the same cup i'm gonna put a stop to that on the other side of my church we have little some of the grape juice you know yeah no, you know there's some good grape juice. Give us a full glass of that great grape juice. Stop jiving around with the little grape juice. We need some grape juice. We got that stale cracker stuck in the throat. Yeah. We need grape juice. Well, and speaking of the now, stale cracker. Are you cr- Jewish? Are you Jewish? Uh, yeah, I am. So you go to the temple. When, when the last time you've been to the temple? Talk to me. Oh, it's been it's been quite a while. Well, Purim was... I know it's been a while. You won't go until somebody gets married. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Purim was last week, so I went for that. But other than that, yeah, if nobody's getting married, I'm all... I'm stay away from temple. No, you have to go on the big day when everybody gives the money. What's the name of that day? Uh, I think that's well, every day. You definitely don't go if you don't know the day. <laughs> yeah, I do, every day I go. And things like that, yeah. I'm saying, you, you, we won't talk about bigger grape juice. You know, you don't want that little thimble. You want more grape juice. What about the crackers? Like, why don't we get a slice of pizza or something? Let's just make this great. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, a cup of grape because juice. Because that is old and it's stale and it's been there forever. Yeah, I mean, it's one thirty already. It's two o'clock. We got to go home. This is so. You have so many great ideas, just as pulp, even. But here's the other thing: you're thinking about wanting to run for the mayor of Las Vegas, and you got great ideas down there, like legitimate great I ideas. That now I want to be president of the United States. I was talking to President Barack Obama this morning. There's just so many things I'm going to do when I'm in charge. First of all, it's going to be a three three day government when I'm in charge. Nobody's going to get laid off. Today. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's when the government's going to. That's when the mailman's going to come. Now, tell the truth: Do we care whether we get our bills on Tuesday? Thursday and Saturdays? I no. no. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then the mailman and the garbage man are going to be the same guy because they're dropping off and picking up the same crap. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to run this country. I can't wait, man. I think you're brilliant. I would love to have somebody like you with your just no-nonsense, common-sense ideas just, you know, in charge. True. All of these killers, you know, gun control, here's my gun control. You serial killer, you're killing people around here when I'm in charge of this country. You're not going to get the electric chair and you're not going to go to jail for life. We're not going to waste any money on you. But the next spaceship that goes up, you will have a seat on that plane. You hear me? Yeah, we're, we got somebody, I just read the other day, somebody's looking for a married couple to uh, agree to go to Mars next year. It's like, why don't you just throw a few convicts on there? Why lurk, look for normal people? Congress, too. Normal people like me and you and your listeners out there. And I guarantee you, 4 o'clock every day, we'd be at home. Exactly. Well, there's a lot, man. We need, we, need, we we are out of time, but we've got a lot more to talk about. I need to just take a flight down to Vegas and sit down with you. And uh, you know, where should I eat when I'm down there? You seem like a guy that knows the best place to eat on the strip. And I'm when I'm in the Vegas. Best place on the strip is called Mona Migapi. Mona Migapi. It's across the street from the Bellagio Hotel. You can sit out on the street and watch the dancing waters over at the Bellagio. I'm gonna get back to you and invite you. I'm gonna invite you, some of your listeners to stop in to see George. I'm gonna give you some vouchers, okay? That would I'm gonna be get awesome. back to you so when you come to Las Vegas, you can enjoy George Wallace. At the 
the fabulous Flamingo. Heck yeah. You guys, check out George next time you're in Vegas at the Flamingo, and also check out him receiving his Lifetime Achievement Award on the Centric Comedy All-Star Special, 7 p.m. Saturday on the BET Centric Network. George Wallace, my man, you are hilarious. Tweet me. Tweet me right now at Mr. George Wallace. Tweet me right now at Mr. George Wallace. We will tweet you, my friend, and uh, we will also vote for you for whatever position you decide to uh, run for. And uh, if you decide to go to space, we'll also uh, get behind you on that. Whatever you want to do, I've got your back, George. Thanks. You got to go. This okay. is George Wallace. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I love you too, my man. And uh, But we won't get married. We'll just have a mutual love for one another. George. You got a deal. How about that? Yeah, right, guys. Thanks for joining us, man. See ya. Oh, I think they cut us off there. Somebody else. I heard another voice at the end. Like, you're, you're four minutes over. You got to go. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.